everybody it's another day um i think i posted yesterday which was thursday um i just posted dinner um, i was making hibachi from scratch uh with the exception of the mushrooms i did do jarred mushrooms as opposed to fresh mushrooms um because they they were looking a little funky but other than that um yeah i didn't have anything in me yesterday to do any more than just to record um dinner or at least dinner prep prepping for dinner um it was good um uh, everybody licked their plates and i had leftovers for lunch today so that was awesome um all is well all is good i am currently waiting for my son he's got track practice today and then we are going i'm not cooking today so we're probably gonna have to pick up some dinner um my husband was scheduled to cook but he had a conference out of town and on his way back in town he got a call from my daughter's alarm company i mean they couldn't reach her so of course he calls me and you know we go from zero to escalate right <laughs> so long story short she was actually in class and they had a guest speaker so she turned her phone off um her alarm it, uh, got tripped in accidentally and so no harm no foul um so yeah all of that said that you know kind of disrupted our schedules a little bit and we we're gonna put whatever he was cooking or planning to cook in the fridge for tomorrow um which is cool because usually we delegate fridays for leftovers so we'll have you know home cooked meal on friday which is kind of awesome so that's that um but yeah so the the baby child is going to love the idea of getting to eat out tonight um so he will oh i forgot the part that on my husband's way back from his conference he just went ahead and stopped at my daughter's apartment just to make sure so you know because he really is about that life um <laughs> i guess he was just you know gonna assess no matter what happened um you know police or no police so you know that's that's that guy and if you if y'all know y'all know right um, so yeah, so the, the baby child can um, determine what we'll have for dinner and I'm sure he's gonna love every bit of that. So I, yeah, that's just kind of what it is today and hopefully um, you all are doing good. Um, I am trying to be consistent with vlogging. I, um, for the most part, I vlog um, or I have been vlogging vacation. But even in that, I'm taking the seatbelt off because apparently he's not anywhere to be seen right now. Um, but I typically vlog vacations, um, but I've even been doing a sucky job at that because I have footage from at least the last five vacations we've taken. And if you follow the channel, you know that the last vacation I actually posted was our trip to Dubai, which we took in 2021. So I feel a way because it's such good content, but I just, I be, I be busy, right? Um, and editing and, you know, kind of getting it just right. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to produce a video and just throw it out there. I do want it to be, you know, be of substance um, and I get it the idea of vlogging is just a capture in time of your life it doesn't have to be beautiful and fanciful but um, I've been an overachiever all my life right so I do want there to be some element of you know my personality and artistry and creativity as a part of those videos but I understand that if I simply wait for that or am complaining about not having enough time I'm never gonna get it up and loaded 
Um, and I'm also planning for another um, vacation in April. So I really do have to post these videos so they can be up more timely and coincide with these weekly vlogs that are in real life and getting the vacation vlogs set up um, and posted for you know what was his uh, basically historic but then getting them current so that's really what i'm going to be working on hopefully this weekend um yeah and I, ha I have a lot of irons in the fire right now um i just spent last weekend getting all my websites um i've got three websites getting them all updated um so that oh i see him my son he's putting his hurdles away um, so he should be up here shortly. Um, what was I saying? Websites. Yeah, I, I'm getting, I've gotten my websites updated just so that, you know, all of my product and everything is, it's just more, a more seamless, um, look. Um, I did some modifications last year to the site, so I do like how they still look. I just, I, at this point, I'm just looking at functionality on my sites. Um, so that's what I'm excited about, but yeah, I did that last week. So I am making some strides, um, under the auspices of entrepreneurialism, um, but also, you know, working for the man as well. <laughs> so that's just kind of where I am. Um, but I hope y'all are doing good and I will talk to y'all soon. Okay. So where did you decide to have Jenner Jackson? Uh, it, it goes. <laughs> You're so easy. Usually you would have asked for sushi. Hmm? I said, usually you would have asked for sushi. No. What do, what do you normally ask for? Nothing. You don't. You're yeah. You're a good kid. You don't ask for anything. But when I go to sushi, what do you say? Can I get some? <laughs> right. Well, you are so unengaged. Not not. Just leave you alone, mom. No. It's been a long day, mom. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Love you. Me too. beneficial that we all hear their conversation and also it's raining so I'm gonna put the camera up so it doesn't get wet do you want me to drive you to your car or you want to okay I wish y'all could have seen me running like an old lady <laughs> to get in the car because it is pouring raining who gave it permission to rain um so like I was saying um my husband and I had date night tonight and my kids are so amazing. My youngest son had a track meet about two hours from here. Um, and we were at work, so we couldn't go. But two, one, you know, one of my kids is out of town. He, uh, he goes to school 10 hours from here. Um, but my other two kids who are, I mean, one is about an hour away and the other is about three hours away. But they met my youngest at his track meet. Um, so they were with him, making sure that he was okay. Um, they kind of coached him up a little bit. And they, you know, they took him to dinner and everything. So we were out having date night and they took my son, um, you know, just for moral support. That's why they were there, but also too, you know, took him to dinner and you know, they're gonna, I think they're gonna all come home for the weekend since it's King weekend. But like, as a mom, I couldn't be more excited and proud um, that my adult children are just being awesome. And that my baby child has somebody there. Cause again, you know, I would, we are track and field parents. So we were at every meet, every weekend. Um, we traveled and, you know, nationals and all of those things. But, you know, with the youngest, he's kind of getting the short end of the stick because he's by himself and, 
whereas the other three were all together um, and you know doing the things together so he kind of misses out a little bit and you know I feel really bad about it but they really showed up and I you know I want to big them up because that's awesome that's what being siblings is and I like the idea that you know they're maintaining these relationships outside of even my knowledge I didn't even know that they were planning that the two of them so I thought that was dope um, I'm also really, really full my stomach hurts um, so I'm gonna turn this off and um, get home safely because it is pouring and I don't know if you can even hear me over the, the rain so I'm gonna make sure I drive safely and get home and I'll chat with you guys in a bit live with I will figure out this it's not too bad but I'll figure that out later but the fridge had to get done I'm going grocery shopping today and I could not stand how disgusting it had been since the holidays so let me finish so I can get the rest of my day going Woo! who is in the stand out there and pump gas oh my god it's freezing hey y'all uh... <laughs> Today has been crazy. You've been with me. Um, just trying to multitask here. Um, I clean my refrigerator out, top to bottom, inside, outside, decluttered. I did my grocery list. I just picked up all my grocery order. And then, um, gosh, it's already dark. It's 5.30 now. Um, I haven't even gotten to taking down the decoration yet, so I'm gonna get finish pumping gas. I'm gonna get home. Gonna unload the dishes. Um, unload the groceries. Make dinner. Hopefully, there's still time for decorations. Taking those down. Let me get my uh, take the gas pump out. I'll be right back.
eggs broken. hey hope that you are well um every time you see me now it's like i'm in the car going somewhere i actually worked from home today so i wrote remote i worked remotely today um interestingly enough we had a black ice warning which is so funny um i've never heard of that until I lived below the Mason Dixon. Um, before it was just, you know, it's snowing, it's cold, it's icy, it's rainy. Govern yourselves accordingly. Um, but we get notices now for all of this stuff. Um, and I get it. We live in the biggest county, if not one of the two biggest counties. I can never remember which. Um, but I believe it's the biggest county in the state. So it covers a lot of you know a lot of of the population so there are areas that are you know more metropolis there are areas that are very suburban there are areas that are very rural in our rural <laughs> there are areas that are very rural in our uh, county so a notice like black ice while it might not necessarily affect the you know the the neighborhood and the region in which i live it may affect a more rural area and of course the the governing bodies have to account for the the county as a whole i say all that to say we had a two-hour delay for our students today which means my son didn't go to school until um 9 30 this morning which kind of threw all of our schedules off my husband was doing interviews for a position that he had at work and he had to be there early this morning and we had to kind of modify our schedule but you know no harm no foul it's great that i had the option to work remotely um but i am on the way to i know you guys are like why are you telling us all of this i'm on the way to the store now because um the whole black ice notice was because the temperature has dropped significantly. It was like 17 degrees um, this morning. That was crazy. It was below freezing until like 1 o'clock p.m. Um, so I am on my way to the store because I desperately need to get another space heater, maybe two. Um, again not the end of the world but early in the morning like when you first get up um and you get out of bed and it's chilly even though like the heater is on i we even turned the fireplace on last night um and i was still cold so i want to get a space heater um just so that everyone has one in their room um and you know kind of affords them the opportunity to adjust the temperatures accordingly my husband actually had the fan on and that's part that actually is part of the problem for me is that i am cold natured so i you know as much as i like to be comfortable when i'm sleeping i end up you know bundling up and adding layers whereas he's got the fan on and kicking off blankets and you know he pulls the the comforter and the sheets out and his feet are out and then my feet get out and i'm annoyed and i can't sleep so it's a whole thing um so i am gonna get a space heater um another one um so that when the kids are home they have one for their rooms and they can uh, modify as needed um just that way we can keep the hvac kind of the the temperature they're central but then people can adjust in their rooms how they need so that's where i'm heading right now um yeah nothing else really it's kind of been a, you know since the kids have gone back to school and gone back um home it's kind of been a little bit of a lull and i'm not upset about that uh, but it's just you know 
I'm back to my introverted self at home and that's it is what it is I will be doing some traveling next week and that probably will be in a separate vlog um, but you know it kind of adds a little bit of uh, it kind of breaks up the monotony a little bit at work and I'm, I'm looking forward to you know this particular engagement so so coming to Walmart is always hit and miss for me because usually I try to go online first to see if the thing that I want is in the store or at my particular store or, or another store and usually it is the thing I want um, but then when I get to the store or at least usually it says it is online but then when I get to the store it's not there oh look at the simply modern mugs um, and then the stuff that is in its place on the aisle is not where it's supposed to be so it's a whole frustrating issue which is why I haven't been at Walmart in so long okay we're gonna try it today we had it which is awesome and not only did they have it they had the color that I wanted um, because online they actually didn't have the color I wanted so that worked out they had the color I wanted um, so yeah, got what I needed, got in, got out. Of course, it was a hot mess in there because it would not be Walmart if it were not. But I can count on Walmart to be Walmart. And if you go in there with that mindset, you'll be just fine. <laughs> All right, now I gotta go home and cook some dinner. Jackie. Can you FaceTime Bea, please? So we can wish I had Brenda this morning. You're rude. Yeah, look at that. I mean, like, why would I do that? She didn't pick up? No. Rude. That's rude. Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. I am so thrilled that it is the end of the work week. It has just been a long week for me this week. Um, I've been feeling a little bit overwhelmed and I've been trying to assess what's going on with me. Um, but more than anything, I'm just glad that it's Friday. I'm going to knock this day out. Um, it's an especially awesome day today because it is my daughter's birthday. Um, I did try to call her earlier this morning. Um, we actually have a family tradition where at midnight you know everybody is attempting to see who's the first one to call the birthday person um but i was exhausted i fell asleep about 10 maybe last night so i called her first thing in the morning um and my daughter is a professional sleeper so <laughs> she's not even gonna respond um probably until eight or nine o'clock but the gag is her dad woke up this morning and we both woke up early and he's actually driving to her apartment to take her to breakfast. Um, so hopefully she won't be in a bad mood at being awakened because she loves, she gets her, she gets her eight hours in. Um, so that'll be funny. I'll have to check in with him later to see how that went. But yeah, so have, it's a great day. It's her birthday. We are going to love up on her real good. Um, she's gonna come home for the weekend. I think her, some of her friends who are local here have some plans for her as well. So I'm excited and thrilled, but I just want to say happy uh, Friday and good morning to everybody. We're gonna knock it out and get it in. All right, bye. I'm about to go take birthday pictures. Um, it is cold. I'm so wrapped up because it's freezing. So these pictures are gonna probably take five minutes because I am i can't, it's too cold. Um, yeah, so. Mm, yeah. <laughs> People in the back, Veo is way too energetic in the cold. Alright, do it. <laughs> so I'm in my second home, if you know, you know. Um, <laughs> I've got to get some coffee creamer and a couple of things for Vea's birthday. She's not asking for a lot, but that doesn't mean I don't want to get her stuff. Um, and just mindful of the things that she needs while she's in law school. So 
I'm going to be here for a little bit and then I'm going to go run a couple of more errands. All right. Saturday is laundry day, so we are going. Oh, there's already <laughs> laundry in there. Great. Okay, much better. Get my dryer sheet. Let's get it. can see I finally got up all of my Christmas decorations um, which is a, an amazing feat for me because it has taken so long for me to kind of move from room to room but all of that is done and I can feel confident in moving forward with the rest of my week. I hope that you all are well. I am feeling a boost of energy um, just in having had that task completed. Mm -hmm.